Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode, how to create and configure an Azure storage account. Before starting, I want to mention that uh, this material is covering relevant information to exam Microsoft Azure Architect Technologies and if you intend to pass a Z300 exam, uh, this video can be useful for you. So I will try to to explain a step by step for each point how to create and configure some aspects for Azure storage account. And uh, if you have a question, don't hesitate to ask me. So let's start with the creation of storage account. I guess um, you are familiar with the Azure portal and all you have to do is to go in um, the left panel menu and click create here you need to, to write storage account select the storage account and click create okay here we need to configure the basic setup uh, the first step is to select the resource group in case if you don't have a group just create new one it's better simple the next detail is to name our storage account and uh, the name must be unique across all existing storage account in Asia not just in your subscription so this is very important and uh, the name must be unique uh, so unique and uh, must be between 3 and 24 charities long and uh, can contain only lowercase letters and numbers so let me name my storage account cloud page storage account so the name is good it's okay the next one is location as you can see we have a lot of locations here a lot of data centers but uh, if you look more closely you will see that we have a recommendation here from microsoft and you need to pay more attention because some services could not be presented in others data centers Okay, I will choose Central US. The location doesn't matter uh, for me because this is a demonstration. Uh, the performance, the next one, we need to configure the performance of storage account. We need to choose between standard and premium and uh, the basic difference is because um, the, stand the standard storage account uh, are backed by magnetic drivers and uh, respectively premium storage account are backed by solid state drivers and of course uh, offers consistent and uh, low latency performance behind this option uh, is not just uh, magnetic drivers and uh, solid state drive but uh, let me stop uh, here for a while to show you the basic difference uh, I will use uh, a diagram to show you uh, the premium option have just uh, a blob option as a service and uh, it's used and it is used for unstructured data and the next one standard uh, has four option as a service um, the first one is a file systems it's used is used for 
massively scalable data lake storage the next one uh, is uh, files tables and uh, and queues so the next one is account kind and we need to choose uh, between version 1, 2 and uh, blob storage so uh, version 2 is a new version of general purpose v1 storage and uh, of course uh, provides all the future which are part of uh, v1 uh, it also provides all the latest future available for blob files queue and tables with better performance and pricing of course the pricing is very important here it is also support the um, access tiring like cool and uh, hot in additional and uh, archive this is not presented during the first setup but can be done uh, later so replication so a few words about replication even if you will uh, choose uh, locally redundant storage you will have three copies uh, of each file in one building but uh, free in three different places the second one zone redundant storage replicates your data asynchronously uh, across data center with one or two regions uh, in case if you will choose uh, geo redundant storage uh, you will have three copies in one building uh, three copies in the another and the last one um, read access geo redundant storage uh, give you read only access to your data in a secondary location and in addition to the replication across two regions provided by uh, geo redundant storage okay i will choose uh, locally redundant storage and next advanced tab the security option that uh, will offer you a secure connection for example uh, mm, when you will calling REST API to access your storage account, uh, you must connect using HTTPS. Uh, any request using HTTP will be rejected. Uh, a virtual network uh, allow you to configure network access to the storage account and uh, how to set up this feature you can find in the suggested video in the right corner on the top uh, or in the description of this video uh, data protection allow you to protect data with a retention period one year I think yes uh, the next one is the data leak storage generation 2 this option is used for analytics processing as well data sets that require high degree of organization uh, the next tab is to add uh, the tags the tags that help you to logically organize your infrastructure and uh, maybe you know that uh, the storage account have a limit of uh, 50 tag uh, next is to review your configuration and uh, click rate okay guys once your deployment of storage account is completed go to resource and here you have an overview of your storage account 
and if you want to change some configuration so you need to go in settings in the left uh, menu and configuration uh, to mention that the account kind can be edited once you have created the account as well the performance account uh, you can uh, disable or enable the secure transfer as well access tire uh, the replication and uh, authentication so a lot of option here uh, but some of this configuration will be explained in the next video for example will be about how to generate uh, a shared access signature after that uh, manage manage access case and so on you can check in description of this video the next uh, three topics that will be published as soon as possible I think uh, the next week for today is uh, enough if you consider that this information is uh, presenting interest to you so please subscribe for next video uh, thank you and uh, see you next time